This is your news break. I'm Levi Mock, and this is your Cannabis News Update. Now that the holiday season is upon us, hemp-derived cannabinoid companies are getting busy selling and shipping their products to consumers throughout the country. In addition to limiting the sale and distribution of their products to jurisdictions where their products are expressly allowed and regulated, hemp cannabinoid companies should also familiarize themselves and ensure compliance with their carrier's guidelines. USPS authorizes the mailing of packages containing hemp cannabinoid finished products, except that electronic vaping devices provide certain conditions are met. In USPS's Post Bulletin 22579, dated August 26, 2021, UPS accepts products made from hemp CBD for shipment only as permitted by all applicable state and federal laws. It is the responsibility of the shipper to ensure compliance with such laws, including the Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. Similarly to USPS, UPS strictly prohibits international shipment of hemp cannabinoid finished products, as well as the domestic shipment of hemp cannabinoid liquid products intended for vaporization, like e-cigarette devices and e-gels. This ban on vaping products applies regardless of nicotine content, and even if the shipper or co-signee is permitted to ship and receive vaping products under applicable laws or regulations. FedEx guidelines, like its competitors, allows the shipment of hemp cannabinoid finished products to contain no more than 0.3% total THC. Although FedEx does not expressly mandate the shippers ensure the products meet all applicable federal, state, and local laws, or that they maintain records, the private carrier's guidelines contain a list of prohibited shipments. In summation, hemp cannabinoid companies should not ignore these carrier's guidelines, which overall are fairly simple to follow and can help reduce the risk of enforcement actions. This should ensure that the next few weeks really are the most wonderful time of the year. And that's all the news we have for you today. Be sure to catch the Canvas Newsroom every